We are very excited about the opportunities to now change the future of mobility through the provision of sustainable transportation with rolling stock that is powered electrically and ultimately the control of the whole journey digitally. Credo che questo treno, come molti treni eh, di Itachi, siano un'avanguardia tecnologica. Quindi fondamentalmente è un, è un elettrotreno, quindi motore di trazione elettrica, ma ci sono due motori diesel di ultima generazione e vengono montati anche due pacchi batteria. Con l'architettura diciamo, innovativa ci consentirà appunto di risparmiare più carburante e avere pertanto un abbattimento dei consumi, e quindi delle emissioni inquinanti. Quando arriviamo in stazione con questo treno possiamo permetterci di entrare in stazione in modalità platform e quindi solo con l'ausilio delle batterie di potenza e quindi riducendo l'inquinamento di CO2. Back in 2002, the goal was to achieve a 24-7 service with driverless trains. At the time, it seems very ambitious, but now we realize that this is what actually is engaging people to use the metro and to become addicted to public transport. The system in Copenhagen consists actually of quite small stations, only 50 meters long, and short trains that are only about 39 meters long. They only have to wait up to 100 seconds between each train, so the system from a sustainable point of view is actually quite effective. We are optimizing on all processes based on data. Data is never proven wrong. It's not assumptions. So we always know what happened and can find the best solution to solve problems. In order to make people's journeys much easier when they're traveling on rail, we've developed the 360 Pass. It's a hands-free app using your smartphone the system knows when you're in range and you're on the vehicle, so it can actually understand that you're traveling, and that can be used to price and charge in real time for your journey. That makes it a lot easier to travel, and it also means that pricing can be fixed to the length of journey that you take. The introduction of the Lumos has been a, a massive success for Hitachi. We maintain them here at Craig and Tinney. They're a fully electric train, they have no diesel engines fitted. It uses the OLE, overhead line equipment, from Edinburgh to London. It doesn't pollute the atmosphere, doesn't pollute cities, and doesn't make a lot of noise either, so it's a win-win for everyone, really. It's always been a passion of mine to work on the railway. There's definitely a bright future ahead with it. Hitachi's going, decarbonizing all their fleet, which I think is a great thing for the environment and they only benefit us all in the future. Hitachi has already made it very clear that we're focusing on future sustainable goals and we can help cities and ultimately governments in large countries to massively reduce the amount of fossil fuels by provision of electric trains. And that's great to be a part in the future generation of sustainable opportunities. In the last 20 years, I think that Metro has done that we've gone from a little city to be a big city. Ja, men det synes jeg er fantastisk. Jeg har jo altid været fortsætter for, at bilerne skulle væk fra gaden, og vi skulle ned til noget mere metro. Så kan mine børn, som der vokser op i et dejligt miljø, og skal være stolte af, at deres far har været med i noget, der er værdigt.